hello guys how are you doing please before we start make sure you subscribe like share and comment to support me with the content that I'm providing in this video I'm gonna show you a potential way to install NVIDIA drivers on the old hardware okay you may need to know what is the compatible hardware with a specific version of NVIDIA drivers and then decide to install it if you ever wanted to sometimes you may not need to install it sometimes it's better not to install it but in my case uh, I had NVIDIA driver installed before and it was successful so, so I wanted to show you as well as I have a good reason to install it which is the screen becomes uh, or the display doesn't become good enough like there is a problem with the screen so I need I needed to install NVIDIA drivers the installation is gonna be on Arch Linux this is the wiki page you need to cons consult it you need to read it and understand what's going on the full process can be found there alright so you may as I said to you in case you needed to install NVIDIA drivers there is like a necessity or something like emergency case like me in my case my screen is gonna be like scrambled or something not fully but a part of it is gonna be stuttering it and it uh, and it can only be solved by installing nvidia's drivers the proprietary ones because by default linux kernel comes with uh, nvidia's open source driver which is nuvo and in most cases you better install it instead of going to install or choosing to install the proprietary version alright there are multiple ways to be honest and in a previous video I will put in the cards I had a problem with compiling the kernel modules and that's because of the choice of the drivers of NVIDIA of the version because of the version I had to remove it because after some time at the beginning it was working fine and after the update of the kernel it was working fine because Arch updates the kernel very often and doesn't keep the old versions not like uh, Debian or Ubuntu or Gento for example you can find your old versions of the kernel Arch doesn't follow the same approach so you need to find a way to make sure that the kernel uh, modules of NVIDIA are being updated every time <coughs> every time NVIDIA or every time the kernel and the system are updated so the driver is old because I'm using old hardware and this is the one that I'm gonna use it will uh, automatically update the or rebuild the kernel modules every time the kernel is updated so the driver is gonna be installed or the driver modules are gonna be loaded and reinstalled okay it's in the AUR so this is how we're gonna do it and we take this one it's the same driver that I had to uh, delete in the previous video so I wanted to show you in case you did not choose the correct package or you faced the same error and you wanted to go back to use the open source drivers in the previous video you uh, just do what I did in case you weren't able to uh, switch to a TTY like I did press and control alt F2 F3 and so on you weren't able to do that and the screen is stuck in the uh, window that I showed you or the screen that I showed you you may need to do to root and I did a video about it I'll put it in the cards for you so let's uh, install this package this will do the, uh, the rebuilding of the kernel modules every time the kernel is updated I'm gonna show you 
uh, that the driver, because this is an SSH to an arch machine that I have right here, it's a true machine. I'm gonna show you that the kernel modules are being uh, loaded, and I wish uh, I can update the kernel because it wasn't updated for some time. And I wish it works fine. Not the same error appears again. The one that I co that caused me to uh, remove the driver, like I did in the previous video. I wish it's not gonna it's not gonna be the same. In case it's the same, we may need to find another method. And in case it's the same, it doesn't mean it's gonna be necessarily the same with you. Okay. All right. So there is something that I need to explain here. I have chosen this package, as you can see because I'm using the LTS kernel in case you don't use the LTS kernel you may need to install this package in case uh, it didn't work don't hesitate to tell me because this is not the only way to install in case also your system is newer but it's not the newest one it needs uh, NVIDIA drivers 390 you may need to install one of these packages here but just because I'm not using more recent hardware and the compatible one for me is 340 I use the version that I showed, uh, showed you so it's compiling as you can see it's not supposed to take so long alright so as you can see it's making or preparing the modules like this using the D DKMS okay the last thing we need to do is to run a command that will copy the configuration from slash USR slash uh, share slash NVIDIA dash 340xx dash LTS slash the file that I have deleted we copy it to this path okay the installation is done so now we copy the configuration file from here so switch user as root and then home cp and copy it to this path like this let's check if it's there or not slash etc slash x xorg like this all right and now we still need to go to that file to add an extra option to avoid a specific error 20 like this oh it's already set so this one we needed to set it okay so now we restart the system it's the uh, one that i'm as a session to it and we will check if the kernel module has been loaded and then we will try to update the system which will include updating the kernel to show you that the kernel modules are being rebuilt whenever the system is being updated my system is restarted I can guarantee to you from what I have seen from it that the driver has been installed successfully and the module has been loaded as you can see here on my on this computer if I can show you I need to install probably VNC server but that takes some time I don't have it pre prepared otherwise I will show you this is the best evidence that uh, video driver is installed let me show you if you want here it is it's working all right so now we will update the system to uh, make sure or to prove to you that the kernel modules of the drivers that I installed right now is being rebuilt oh, on. just the plain update let's keep it running the repository refresh refreshing has been done and as you can see I did not update the kernel in my case I have chosen LTS and it's gonna update now 
so the update is done as you can see it's building the modules for the kernel for NVIDIA drivers and then we will restart to check if or to prove that the rebuilding or the building of the kernel modules is successful so I rebooted my system we can check if we uh, got the kernel modules loaded successfully and it's loaded and here is the machine running Arch Linux and the display server and manager are running as you can see so don't forget to check the wiki page here don't forget to check the version that matches with your system and your GPU don't forget to take the version here whether it's LTS or not LTS take the one that matches with your kernel in my case it's LTS so I took this one you may need to take this one okay and the version also you may if it's a 390 you may need to take this one as I guess I still didn't try this so I'm not sure of it uh, don't forget to subscribe if you face any problem comment down below I guess that's the that's uh, everything for this video I hope I didn't make any mistake thank you for watching and see you